Hi, and welcome to the third section of the Mastering TypeScript Programming Techniques course where we're going to take a look at task automation. So in this section we'll learn how to use grunts to auto-compile TypeScript as well as look at other features for auto-saving and auto-building. We'll also take a look at how to auto-unit test TypeScript code and how to run automated end-to-end -end tests. Let's see how to work with grunt and auto-compilation. Remember that in the previous section we have set up grunt with an npm package grunt.ts. Grunt.ts is really just a grunt compatible wrapper around the TSC command line, which means that this package can also make use of tsconfig.json, which is a configuration file for the TypeScript compiler. Let us now review our grunt config from section 2. I have slightly modified it as I have removed the linting piece. And remember, using this grunt file, we are transpiling all TypeScript files using the task. There are three ways that we can use tsconfig.json in our grunt file, and there are three ways that we can do this integration. We can either specify the tsconfig property to true. In this case, we need to make sure that we actually have an existing tsconfig.json file available for us in the same place where we are invoking grunt from. We can also specify a path to tsconfig.json if it's at another location. And the last option is that we can actually specify the tsconfig object as part of our grunt task. So let's stick to the first option and create tsconfig.json. And we'll add a few options for the compiler to manage modules, remove comments, build a source map and create ES5 specific JavaScript code. And I'm also going to add the watch true property. So let's go ahead and do this now. Now we need to make sure that we also update our grunt file so that it is going to expect this tsconfig file. All we need to do is pass in another option here and this is going to be tsconfig set to true. So remember in this case we're telling the grunt file that it should look for a tsconfig.json file in the same place where it gets invoked from. Let's now go ahead and create two TypeScript files, a class and an implementation of that class. Now running grunt will of course generate the appropriate JavaScript files according to what we have specified in tsconfig.json. And as you can see we have the resulting JavaScript files. Now it would really be nice if grunt would watch for changes and automatically invoke TSC when needed. Well, let's install another package for grunt called grunt contrib watch. And we can do this by using npm, of course. This particular grunt plugin will allow us to watch for changes in files. But of course, we need to go ahead and make some changes in our grunt file as well. So first of all, we need to register this plugin for grunt. And we need to also add some properties. So the way you should interpret this is that grunt is now going to watch for changes in the TypeScript files. So if we change any of our TypeScript files, it's going to then run the TS task, 
which in turn is then going to generate and transpile the TypeScript code to JavaScript. And we also need to make sure that we add the watch task as a second registered task. So let's go ahead and test this and let's run grunt again. This time we first run the TypeScript task followed by the watch task and as you can see in the command line I get the message waiting. So let's go ahead and actually modify this product class and add another function here. save this file let's also go into product.ts and invoke that and make a change in the console log statement and let's save this as well and notice when I do a save the TS task automatically gets executed. So if I now check my product.js file, notice that it has the updated code generated. So we have automatically transpiled our TypeScript code based on changes that happened to our TypeScript source files.